Hello and welcome, I'm John11 from byte 2 pi What I'm going to talk today is just quickly talk through algorithm I implemented, algorithm of particle swarm optimization. Okay, first of all, let's start with the theory on in something what is really interesting and is really important in case of implementing algorithms so a flowchart. Our particle swarm optimization is nothing else but simple swarm of particles which are seeking, which are looking for the minimum or maximum uh, for a given function. It can be any function, so it can be e either analytic function or maybe some heuristic, some complicated term which we are l we are going to look for initial input, so input uh, which which would yield minimum uh, value, minimum output. Okay, first of all, let's start with in initial initialization of PSO, so initialization of those particles, and for each particle we should update V, so update velocity, update position X, later at the same moment, at the same loop, we are evaluating the current position of this particle, so we are just calculating f of x when f is our function, and if this f is less than personal best, this p best is personal best, we are substituting p best, so personal best, to be equal to x. And this loop, this updating loop, is going through every single particle. Okay, the next step uh, is of course up looking whether this uh, best, so this position is maybe the global best, so the best of whole population, and if it is, we are substituting g best, so global best to be x, so we in just this position. Now, now we are going through next particle, and now, and this loop, as I said before, is going through every single particle. Now we are checking whether we are satisfying termination criterion. It can be, for example, number of iteration without changing the minimum, or maybe just fixed number of iteration. If this condition is not satisfied, so we are going to next iteration, and if uh, if it is satisfied, then solution is our best. And now we can define, of course, this GBest and PBest to be something I already said. So GBest is global best and PBest is particle best or person best. And now you may wonder, was the velocity and and uh, position update uh, formulas? And of course, they are given here. As we can see, uh, position. Maybe I will talk about the position first because it's simple Euler discretization technique technique because the position is just the derivative with respect of time, velocity is the derivative with respect of time of position, then we are just multiplying by dt and we obtain this formula as follows, and velocity is more complicated term, we've got three terms and each of them is a product of some coefficient c, c1, c2 and c3, and as we can see the first one, so the first term, the c1 term, is responsible for inertia, I'll call it. So the higher is c1 term, it's more difficult to just change the path, the, the trajectory of particle. We can associate with particle of higher mass. c2 is something I called egoistic term or egoist term. This is just the um, way of measuring how the particle, single particle, is listing or remembering its own history. So if it's going according to its history, which is mean the velocity uh, that the particle is changing its velocity to, to to seek for the minimum, but only taking into account uh, its its history, not the global history. And the C3 is obedience term. I call it just obedience. Why? Because we are following the leaders. So we are trying to achieve somehow the global minimum, and we are listening to the global best. Basically. Those formula in brackets is nothing else but just vector difference between two vectors, the p best, which is the personal best position vector, minus x, xi is just actual position. Okay, and now let's talk about implementation. I, of course, implemented in the best language in the world, so Python. First of all, let's start with imports. It's straightforward for, for imports. Of course, NumPy, which is always, uh, always important and always required. Pile up just to show the result, of course math, because we are going to talk about mathematical algorithm is useful and this axis 3D is something responsible for mm, plotting in 3D, in, in our case projection, 3D projection, so to see something what is uh, drawn in 3D. Particle class. 
of course it's straightforward class class which is thinking into account which is trying to encapsulate every feature of particles so there is an initialization class uh, it's something called constructor if you if you are familiar with c plus plus or java and later we are getting value of course then we are updating position of course in case of getting value we should check whether value the the vector in given iteration is less or than best value if it is then uh, and field best value fit for every field for every particle we are just initialization or changing to value so the current value and if this value is just best value of course the best position is equal to uh, field self best position update position nothing is happening here we are just multiplying current uh, i'm sorry not multiplying by adding to self position mm, velocity multiplied at dt i'm changing to npr because uh, self velocity before was just um, a list and a list is is impossible to multiply list by dt so i had to change to array to numpy array and updating velocity is it's just implementation of this term of this formula so we have complicated formula uh, using the pre private fields of this class and some given uh, and some given global best which is of course an argument of this function and the coefficient which is also which are always also the uh, the input okay defining function we are i was looking for a minimum of given function why why this is the thing the function i just picked because it's complicated we've got this thieves up and downs we've got minimas local minimas a lot of local minimas however global minimas is somewhere here around 1.7 1.73 something really important is this visualization in case of notebook the visualization is full so full so we've got this uh, these up and downs and if you see our uh, if you see our movies from the pie charm so from ide you will see a smooth function it's some problem i don't get this problem but in both cases in case of other movies in case of other uh, youtube films i always using the minimalization of this function even uh, our graph is looking in the different way of course we are just defining function which takes an argument position and it's only temporary because this algorithm works in arbitrary number of dimensions i am only working in two dimensions so it's x and y and just for simplicity i define x to be the first uh, term in vector and the y is the second term in vector initialization some is this, is this something interesting here i don't think so because we are starting with number of particles or the more par the more the higher is the number of particles uh, our algorithm is slower but at the same time is more efficient probably and dt is just time step in literature this time step is equal to one and what's important it's even not not present in in literature however i added it because I would like to visual the result and it will definitely decrease the speed of our algorithm now now we are inter initializing the particle array or list in this case and of course some kind of range of our arguments uh, what else okay I just changed something it should be probably best value equal to some ab arbitrary high number because we are looking for minimum uh, we will look. you will see why i did it okay first of all we are uh, creating the list of objects particles with random position but zero velocity why because i can this is my this is my idea you can even add some velocity it should be even better however just to show your, your result i decided the initial velocity would be equal to zero now it's the time we are defining the c1 c2 and c3 number of steps which is my uh, which is my end condition so when the number of steps or number of iteration is equal to 150 we are ending our uh, main loop and then i just thought x and y would be useful in case of graphs or in case of plots we are creating mesh grid we are asking plt to show our results in every iteration so to create some kind of animation and this is 
kind of in can I, I know it can be kind of magic for you who are not familiar with Python, but what we are doing we are mapping just x and y uh, in mesh grid to be equal to function and at the end we are telling Python that z should be in the shape of x. I know it's hard uh, for me it was really really difficult to understand it and but if you spend enough time it should be rather straightforward for, the, for you. And now main loop. Main loop is rather easy what we are doing we are uh, taking a loop for e in number of steps so this loop will be done uh, number of steps times and values is just list which is holding uh, actual values and uh, values and in current step of our particles uh, we are also initializing the figure in projection free just to uh, obtain nice three dimensional uh, three dimensional graph and two loops one loop is going through every single particle and just just writing uh, its value to a list called values and the second loop is just updating of both velocity and position and of course uh, plotting the points of uh, the current point the current position of our particle and at the end we are plotting surface we are asking the plt to draw it and to uh, and to clear our plot after plotting so as a result we obtain nice smooth animation and this is of course the full code you can follow you can ask question in comment I really uh, it would be really good if you ask any question I can I can of course answer them and at the end what I'm going to tell you is just next uh, something about the next step and next time I would like to take this implementation slightly further just to maybe introduce the idea of quantum of quantum particle swarm optimization and if you are afraid it's impossible to be done just look at these references in every single reference in every particle in, in every article we see something called quantum particle quantum particle and new quantum particle swarm optimization so maybe it's something standing behind it and if you are not sure just look at uh, Mr. Gandalf and Barlock I love the face of him. Okay, thank you very much for today, uh, for f for this introduction. I hope you like it. It was my first movie on YouTube. I can can I can only get better. See you around, Janina.